So first item on the agenda, approve the minutes of 621 and 628 that were supplied in the packet. Remember these packets of papers? I, I remember these, yeah. <laughs> these are great. Not like email, <laughs> not it, but packets of actual tangible forest product. They read great to me. Okay. They look great. Yeah, everything looked good to me. All right. Um, make a motion to approve the minutes of 621 and 628. Second. second. We all second it. Uh, yeah. Aye. Okay. Um, so you want to skip over the warrant until we get the fresh warrant? Or uh, Louise, can you hear me? Hey, I, I said so. Sorry. So the, the numbers were in today's agenda, but but I only there was only detail for one, I think. Yeah. So is that a yes we're waiting or not? We're, are we waiting for it? I don't know. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Okay. <laughs> we're hanging. Uh, we're hanging. Yeah. Should we come back to it later? <laughs> yeah, let's All right, so we'll we're going to pass over that for a second, Louise. And I just said it. Oh, okay. I just said it. You didn't get it? Uh, uh, <laughs> on, on our phone? Or let's see. Oh, on your email, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just... Well, I can't share screen with this going. I mean... Um, did you watch it? Oh. Hi, Roy. <laughs> hey, we're talking about finances. Well, let's. Hey, yeah. Hello, does that mean you can hear me? I hear you. Right. We can hear you, Roy. Okay, I got it. I got it, Louise. We're ready to go with the warrants. I did not. I did not. And they were actually all sitting there. I did actually get to look at oh, them. Okay. Um, uh, we hadn't gotten the numbers for the last two, though, when you were in. We just got them. Okay. So, I don't, I can't see mine, so. One was like okay. 8,000, So, um, before us is the approval of the following warrants. Um, the W2128 invoice warrant of $242,733.96. The FY22 W22-02 invoice warrant of $83,253.86. The payroll warrant of $130,444.25. The payroll deduction warrant, $30,600.39. The invoice warrant, W22-03, for $101,125.86. The payroll warrant of $84,939.98 and the payroll deduction warrant of $20,508.99. And uh, although, having gone through those, although those are big numbers, I can tell you that those were entirely non-exciting, very humdrum, ordinary government kind of things. Um, so, we have a, a motion to uh, approve the warrants. So move. I'll second. Everybody in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, unanimous for the warrants. Thank you, Louise. And, um, meet, <laughs> meetings attended by select board members, Erica? Um, none since okay. our last meeting. Um, okay, so I had a, so you're, still, you're still senior, you still, you still go last. Uh, oh, if you say so, yeah, any, yeah, any, yeah. Any, any way you want. Been senior, you're, okay. you're still senior. <laughs> Seniority counts. I'm still the middle child. <laughs> so, um, so we had a, uh, the final uh, Conway Grammar School meeting of the year. 
playground stuff was mostly the focus of it and um, the, the numbers for that all came in a little bit lower than what we thought and uh, so they're able to put a, uh, an extra walkway into the project for the same amount of money or whatever so um, and uh, and then there is the FERCOG meeting the councilor of government meeting um, which uh, is always uh, interesting so the but there was a lengthy discussion about the opt-out program countywide and what all the towns are experiencing and um, everybody every town took turns giving a brief what's going on and I was surprised a at the number of towns that took a look at the paperwork involved in opting out and even though they wanted to opt out they just gave up and I'm talking to you Northfield um, <laughs> no. um, but the, <laughs> I'm joking. They, they, uh, they, but there was a number of towns that had voted to opt out and then decided that it was too much for them to do. There was other towns, and there was at least two towns that tried to opt out, and their plan was rejected by the state. And um, any explanation of? <laughs> our success do we owe this so we got to and, and, to so our, we, our we, even compared, we even compared the form letter so the people that got into it we got the one form letter and they got the <laughs> and you no know, our letter was to whom you can to whom it may concern yeah um, and so was their letter of refusal to whom it may concern and there was zero huh. it was just you didn't make the cut you can still apply and the same thing with us that we, we remarked about how the letter of acceptance from the state was sort of the most ominous and vaguely threatening kind of acceptance letter that any of us had ever gotten. Just, uh, it doesn't mean anything for next year. Next year's gonna be a lot harder, blah, 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 blah. It had the word approve in it. It did, <laughs> it did. And we are to be congratulated because uh, there was only a handful of towns, Montague was one of them, um, and Conway, that opted out but did not join any of the mosquito districts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um and the number of towns that joined the mosquito districts exploded so the, our little pioneer i mean I, all those years it was just deerfield and one other town yeah so now they have 30 members okay and and uh they put out they, they don't want anybody to join right now <laughs> um, yeah. until they can staff up because they still only have the one person with the truck but, we, but the reason I'm getting around to this is because we got, we, there was a lengthy discussion about what the services really are provided for each town from those mosquito control districts. And, um, and by and large, I mean, there was other stuff too, but it's, it's they, they, they do it, they set a few traps in every town. And then they hire somebody to look at the mosquitoes that were caught and what's inside those, and what diseases are inside those mosquitoes. And they also dis distribute those coils that you drop in the culverts. Um, so, so, and, and when, when, when I was thinking about sort of the towns that try to do it, the towns that aren't doing it, it's clear to me that next year, like it's get, it's, we're gonna need our current plan plus. Because the state's already telling us that. And so um, w when it comes time, I think we're gonna want a budget to do, for, to do a couple of tests ourselves. If we can become our own mini low-cost uh, mosquito district is what I'm kind of thinking. We do deliver our own services, and we, if we just do a couple of, uh, of traps, I think we would be, uh, um, we would pass muster for next year because there's really not much more. And I did speak with um, Carolyn um, yes. in Ness, and they'd be willing to share. If we have data about mosquito, they'd be willing to share their data and with our data. And so that's the whole thing about Great. it. So, we, we could potentially get the benefits of doing it at, our, at the Conway discount rate, um, <laughs> which is what I'm all about, so. Well, I just wanna say, I think the Board of Health should be commended because I, I yeah. think we gave them like yeah. 10 days. Yeah, it's 10, more like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to yeah. Try, and, and I know. To turn around a plan. <laughs> and Veronica did a lot on that, yeah, so, actually. So um, that, was, that was a. That's amazing. Positive feedback from the universe, actually, <laughs> because some tried it and didn't get it. <laughs> um, so that's that's what I wanted to talk about. That um, and and other than that, FERCOG is announced their intent to hire an assistant to assistant executive director. Uh, the, um, Lord knows how much money that would be, and uh, several other positions. They're internally. Hiring. Yes, um, 
and several other positions, and we talked a lot about the wisdom of doing that. Yeah. You can imagine. Yes, yes. So, uh, but that's uh, that's my report on meetings. So. Great. Well, um, almost all of us anyway came to Ross's going away party, oh, yeah. which was which was know. you know uh, sweet. I mean, there was a, a wide range of of Conway people there, all of whom I think really appreciated what yeah. Ross did while he was here. That's so really that true. was excellent. Uh, we had an FCAT meeting and we had a Conservation Commission meeting over the last two weeks. That's it for me. Good. Good. So, um, public comments, there's nobody here. Old, um, old business, nothing. This is a new business. Um, so our we, we can go to, we can do the FERCOG um, accounting contract. Uh, or do we do a joint meeting with the... Yeah. That's not... Are they ready? I don't know. Oh. Alan, do you have three yet? I, I, I hear oh. Alan and Roy. Who's my police uh, I don't... I, someone just called in. I don't know who that is. Well, the phone number there is Town Hall. Oh. Hey, Town hey, Office. Hey, hey. Hello. Who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Oh, is that Malika? Did he say they don't have a quorum yet? They do. Yeah. So they have a okay. quorum. Great. So do you want to uh, open your meeting since we're already open and we can get started? Thank you. Thank you, Scott Ford. So uh, thank you, uh, Brianna. Thank you, Roy, for being here. And uh, so we have uh, uh, Mr. Ford in the Actually, yeah, Ford in the Lawrence. And uh, they're from fiscal year 21 and they have to be submitted to the uh, town accountants by, uh, I think, this month. And the first warrant is uh, a request for end-of-year line-to-line transfer. Uh, what we're transferring is uh, $2,200 from uh, line 150 5100 to 150 5400 That's town office expenses. Just the line-to-line -line transfers. Uh, we're just stuffing around. So it's not going to affect too much from last year's budget. So, uh, are there any discussion? Lawyer, so be around from the select, on the select board. I'm showing a different amount than for that than what you just said. Well, we we'll have uh, dated June 30th. Oh, goodness. No, there's a new one that was dated July 12th. Well, I didn't get that. I mean, present balance instead of appropriation count is one thousand. I minus one thousand four hundred seventy-eight dollars. It's uh, it's really travel expenses for the town of Newport, I guess. And I have it at twenty-two hundred dollars. That's what Ross Perry sent me. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I guess you must not have gotten the update from us. No. I'm sorry, I thought that went out um, with the packet. That's my fault. Because the week afterwards, they did the update. Let me see. Um, Is that the one that's now 2700 Yes. So this one, what happened is that Mike updated. He did one on 630, and then a week later updated it again. So he and I went over it again and it was slightly different numbers and I do apologize I thought I had sent that on to you with all of these um, Louise are you able to forward the packet real quick to um, Alan um, I could try to find my email so it was it was in the packet you handed us it's in the packet, yes. The yeah. correct one is in the packet that you no, have. That's not electronic. That's not put together electronically. Some people didn't want it. Yeah. I, I thought I could, I could jump in my car and run out of town offices right now. It's not yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Could I do that? Is yes. That right? Yeah, you can do that. Sure. I'm yeah, going to the next meeting. You, 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 you just want the. Um, just tell me what the end you of your transfers because I can just send you those. That's what I'm talking about, yes. If you can just send him the... No, 
That's what I meant. Yes, thank you. Thanks. I do apologize. I thought they had to send it. Do you want to do, while we're waiting for that, did you want to do the... No, I, I have to sign for... The vocational and the cemetery and the TA reserve funds? Or did you not get those either? And I'm going to be quite embarrassed because I thought they had all gone out too. the whole thing to you right now. Um, oh, assuming I, I may not have you on my phone at the, oh yes I do, okay. I don't think we got this in the mail. No, it's different. Hey, I got it. <laughs> well, at least something's working, right? I sent you a second one. I'm not sure if that has what you needed in there, too. And I do apologize. I don't know if you can forward it to, well, let me forward that to, to Roy. Roy, but also to Rihanna. Yeah, I, I, hopefully I have her address on my phone. I can forward it. You can go to address and have it. So do you have what you need there, Alan? I, Wait, I, some I, a series of attachments, uh, Ronnie. I have six. Oh, okay, hold on. There sh else. should be the FY21 Conway year-end transfers dated 7-12-21. That's it. Okay. I don't have, I have Roy's address, but I don't have... Um, I, 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 um, I'll forward this to uh, to Roy and Connor. Okay, thank you. So there should be seven year-end line-to-line transfers, and it's it's almost exactly the same as what you had seen, but it did get tweaked a little. We're on our joint meeting with the finance committee, but we will be nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> we'll be there eventually. No worries. Thank you. All right. So I have one dated. It looks like July 15th. Request for year end of year line to line transfer. Uh, requesting six thousand seven hundred sixty four dollars, and that's for salary wage. Uh, yes. Shortfall is added. Yes. And okay. Yeah. So you want to vote on that? That's this one. For us. Yes. It's the one for the. Oh, Roy and uh, Rihanna have a chance to have the lead. No. Six centers out. 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 Six centers
This one. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so is this a motion? Are we moving? Are we? Well, I, now now's the time to discuss it. If you have. Yeah. I'm going to report you the email right now. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm going to be pulling over shortly. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's $6,000 in, in wages. 67 64 Yeah, it's a line-to-line -line transfer. So okay. Not an overall increase. That's transfer. Okay. So, uh, so I mean, I... I, I don't think I'm motion. Uh, to uh, put the transfer as presented. 6006 $764 we transferred from line 141-5200 account to the line 141-5200 account and uh, the request is, is made by Lee Wood and the assessors. Anyone care, any, anyone would wish to make a motion to approve? Yeah. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Somebody second it. I second. Okay. So, and on behalf of the select board, um, I'll make a motion to approve that as well. Their wages, they've already been paid. We have to be able yeah. to, it's not much of a, a choice. There is something, though, that, um, you know, one of the things that I've been aware about for a while, though, um, is, is that when, when we're doing things, like, we don't have, um, we're, we're not that clued in with what our current spending is on, things like the wage line item. And it would have been nice to be able to have, uh, you know, alerts sent out to department heads saying that you are approaching uh, your, the, you know, the, the limit on your budget line item, et cetera. That I, I don't believe these department heads ever knew at the time, you know, one month, two months, whatever, that they're, that, that they're I mean, they, they, they may have, but when, when we were going over their budget, you know, and approving their budget in January, February, March, and everything, we generally um, were, were proceeding with very limited knowledge of what the current spending was on, on important budget line items. I believe and, some of these had to do with the retro pay, though. The retro pay should have been in, was, was budgeted separately as a line item and in a, a separate article. Six, 16,000 something. In FY22. But to do the shortfall in FY21, mm -hmm. they have to cover it, if I understand correctly. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, I can make a suggestion now here that uh, you know, now that we have, we're on board for our meeting, you know, Mike Coachella has been very diligent every month sending the uh, year to date uh, budgets, you know, in terms of budget and actual. And I don't know, maybe uh, we set up some kind of a system so the departments, who heads, especially the heads who have a budget that's particularly in their house, and they have their reviewer, maybe a reporter check in or something, especially uh, if they're ahead of budget, they're above budget for some reason. See, and, and actually, the, each each request actually has the, 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 uh, the reason, and this request does say that it's for the the um, the year the, the raises um, that we talked about, but there were other requests. I believe the fire department was just um, so, something. The fire department was because you just simply can't anticipate ahead of time how much it's going to be. Yeah. That. So. So, yeah. so okay. So, so I'll second your motion. Okay. Vote. All right. All right. Okay. So we're unanimous on that too. Next. Next one. All right. That's that one Next up is a request for end of year line to line transfer. I have it from Joe. Call the Joe Kalucci. 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 Yes. Yes. Joe, don't call him a dog catcher, Kalucci. All right. Animal officer. Yes. Yes. And I have the amount of two hundred twenty-five dollars. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a sentence. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, so I, I, is there any further discussion? Roy, Rihanna, I, I don't, it's a line to line transfer for that amount. Any discussion? Right. Oh, okay. discussion. Okay. Well, Roy, okay, thank you, Roy. And uh, so I make a motion that we get a, a 
approved the uh, two hundred twenty-five dollar line to line transfer for the uh, my request for Joe Colucci. Any uh, anyone care to uh, second that? Okay. All right. I, I vote aye. Second. Okay, so I. <laughs> That's an I. <laughs> so, right. select, select board motion. Uh, second. Aye. Aye. We're all unanimous for that, too. Next. Good. Next up, I have in the rear line to line. So, a bunch of attachments running, so I'm just calling through the, calling through the attachments. Right. You say the amount, and we'll find it. You know, we're in reserve fund transfer location of the technical school. Okay. So, a request for transfer from the reserve fund $3,700. I have this dated June 30th. Is that right, Bernie? Am I still correct? Yes, that is. Yes. Okay. And uh, so, this is a, a request from the reserve fund to the, uh, for the uh, location of technical school expenses, not $3,700. We don't have much of a choice, so I, I don't see any further discussion on this either Roy or Rihanna. Do you wish to discuss any further? No. How much are we transferring? Yeah, it was 3,700. We really have no choice. No discussion on that. Okay, no. so I make a motion that we approve yeah, the transfer yeah. from the reserve fund to the vocational technical school of $3,700. Any one here a second? Second. Okay, so we're passing unanimously. So I'll pass the evening select board. You can vote now. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion, even though um, for a school to do this sounded. No, it's transportation. Yeah. Yeah. School and they had, yeah, it was, it was covered. Um, so, yes, make a motion on behalf of the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Next. We expect the transportation to Yeah. All right, next up, reserve fund transfer cemetery. Yeah. All right, so this is dated July 13th. Not requested $600 into three accounts, uh, $250 to account ending in 2110, $250 to account ending in 3210, and $100 to the account ending in 4200. This is a new cemetery account created fiscal year 21. Uh, some more an overdraft left it off the 65 uh, annual town meeting warrant. So we have uh, must be for expenses and if there was a lawn mowing or something? No, uh, we we established the or reestablished the lawn dormant town cemetery commission so that uh, cemetery plots can be sold once again. And it so that's I was training and supply, so I guess I guess someone is uh, going for some training on uh, proper care of cemeteries and supplies. I don't know. I, I don't uh, see any further need for discussion on my employee, yeah. Rihanna. Do you any, any need for that? No. Uh, no. I'm going to make a motion to approve the $600 uh, transfer from the reserve fund, as, uh, as noted. Anyone carry a motion or a second? So, how about you, Rihanna? Uh, you in favor? Yes. Okay, all in favor. Three are carries. Select board. Select board. Make a motion to approve. Uh, I'll second it. Aye. Everybody in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. All right, now uh, I see something from the Franklin Regional Council, but I don't, I don't think that's. Uh, Mm -hmm. Anything else for us? Uh, what we have three more. You've got for a total of seven. Uh, well, there's hmm. seven of the um, year-end line-to-line transfers. So there's another five of those in there. Uh, which email attachment? Mm -hmm. Email T A Allen. Is that? That was like Got it? And mass. Yeah. Uh, Nope, that's not it. No, it, sh it should have all been in, let me look, I'm sorry. And there were two other, uh, no, sorry, one other reserve transfer. <laughs> well, we wrote it on so far, the end of year EYO line transfers to the uh, control officer, the reserve fund transfer, taking the school, the uh, cemetery fund, and then we have reserve fund transfer, new higher training, 
Yes. 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 I guess Ross knows exactly the hours needed and all that. I always get a little nervous. Oh, no, that was, that, that was me, actually, and I looked up the three classes online to get the designation, and those are the prices. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. So the prices for class. Okay, all right, good. Yeah, I was, I was pretty impressed. Like, wow, that's, that's an exact budget. I can, I, can, I can relate to that. All right, so the uh, request is the transfer from the reserve fund. You had a one thousand nine hundred eighty-five dollars. You got to me on MC PPR designation fund. That's for Veronique to have a proper certification for public contracting over there. That's five hundred ninety-five dollars. Design and construction contracting that's six hundred ninety-five dollars. Supplies and services contract five hundred ninety-five dollars. So that totals nineteen eighty-five zero cents. So uh, I don't have any further discussion. You have. Lawyer, Rihanna, any further comments, questions? I'm <laughs> I make a motion to approve? Yes. Anyone care to second? Second. All right. And, uh, all in favor, aye. Aye. How do you do it? Yes, aye. Aye. Okay, so Mary Steele, okay. I'll leave it to you to select the board. For select board? Motion for select board? <laughs> I'll second it. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous for select board. Next. So, Alan, if you see an, an EOI town clerk salary, there should be five <coughs> in there. Five different well, line transfers attached in here. Thank you. All right. Thank goodness for PDF. So this is the request made by our town clerk for MCA, and that's for Three hundred fifty-five dollars a year, year line to line transfer, salaries and wages. So uh, I don't have any need for the discussion on my end. How about you, Rob? Have you any questions? It's a line to line transfer. Yeah, no problem. So I have a uh, make a motion to approve. Anyone get a second? Let's see about the motion. Three hundred fifty-five. How about you, Rob? So all in favor? Aye. How are you, Aye. 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 Okay. Motion for select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. We got that down to an art. That's, that's three yeah, cents. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, well, it's line to line stuff. Yeah, stuff. exactly. Our chief baker, our, our strong chief. Yeah. <laughs> $5,000 is a line to line transfer. And you use to pay for employee wages, I guess hourly wages and all the estimated number of hours on the cover I think we budgeted more for fiscal year 22 for the wages of the fire department and more trainings. Yeah. Anyway, thank goodness we have people who volunteer with the pay. Yep. So anyway, uh, the year line to line transfer, I don't see any further need for discussion on the right thing on it. Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? No. Uh, no, no questions. I mean, it's a line to line transfer, so uh, I make a motion to approve uh, Chief Baker's request. Anyone care to second? I second. All right, second. all in favor? Aye. No. Aye. Aye. All right, carries 3 0. Select board. Motion for select board? Mm -hmm. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. <laughs> All right, next up, $52 for Mr. Sweet for wages. Wow. This is anyway, this is building and grounds. And uh, anyway, I, I don't have any further discussion. Any questions, comments, suggestions from the committee, you or Larry on? $52. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Anyone care? I make a motion that we approve the transfer from Mr. Sweet as presented. Anyone care to make a second that motion? Aye. Okay, thank you. Harry 3 0. Motion for select board? Aye. Uh, uh, second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Uh, okay. Next on. Uh, 
July 14th, of course, from uh, our neighbor Blanchard, the select board, $2,700 for sellers and wages, a line to line transfer. And uh, no reason given, but it's a line to line. Any comment, Rodney? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking to Ernie. Are you there still? Yes, sorry, I am here. Yes, um, this was to cover, there was funds put in the um, FY22 budget, but it, this is for monies that got paid in FY21, so we're just doing a line to line for this. Okay, very good. I have no further questions, no one's discussion. How about you, Ernie? Ernie? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. I'll make a motion to present the request by uh, our, our new town administrator. Anyone care to make a second on that? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So next up. Uh, uh, the select board. Motion, motion for select board. Motion for select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. One more. One more. We have from, we're also from Veronica, $6,500, a line to line transfer. And uh, what, what's it doesn't have a purpose? That was also salary and wages. It is. It is not, and it's it's office expenses. And I'm embarrassed to say that because I'm new here, I don't know what this was for. But Mike brought it to our attention. So, um, oh. yeah. So we'll do. Well, I mean, it's unpaid bills. I believe. I, I believe some of it could have been for Ross's expenses. However, I think this is where some of that was coming from. Well, it's it has to get paid. So. Yep. Yeah. For choice. So uh, I make a motion to present the request for the six thousand five hundred dollar line to line transfer as presented. Six. We carry a second. Where are we on? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, aye. Okay, pass the CEO. Select board. Motion for select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. aye. Unanimous. We should probably trade off Bob. Uh, <laughs> To be so uncontroversial. Anyway, I uh, have a request for you. Is it possible that these uh, attachments, if you can print them out either tomorrow or Wednesday, I can go down to town, your office down there, and sign if you like? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's your preference. Sign them yeah. Is that the last one, Alan? That was yes, it. it. That was it. That was it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got to leave the meeting. Nice job, Roy. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Take, take care, everybody. You too. Well. So if you uh, want to email me a date, uh, email me a date time. I'm sure now. Turn on down to town offices tomorrow morning, afternoon, whatever. I'm signing on. That's good. On tomorrow, I guess. But that's Monday. Yeah. They're already printed out, so. Oh. So if you want to leave them in my inbox, uh, you know, come down tomorrow and sign uh, sometime at 11, 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the summer. I hope it's more exciting than this. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is about the, as boring as it, as anything we do. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I hope so too. There you go. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Um. Next would be. Bob Dean? Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, they're all fur cut, so. Yep. <laughs> I can wait. No, we're good. Okay. We're just doing wrong. Just first come, first serve <laughs> basis. All right. All right. <laughs> so we have a million fur cut contracts. Yes, and I apologize for that. But, no, no. No, it's that time of year. So I think we have the. Program, inspection program, and then also one for the um, municipal accountant training grant. Right. So that we can access the hundred thousand dollars that. Yep. And so graciously get, applied for it. I get the whole concept of the pass through. <laughs> um, 
I, I don't remember that happening. It's been a couple of years, actually. Yeah. And with a, it took us a while to get started, and then COVID hit, and we, you know, rearranged our plan. Um, yeah. But now we're at the point where I do need to access the money to start paying some bills. So in that contract, it's all paid for by a grant, except the towns will pay expenses. And I didn't, there was no hint of what the expenses might be. Um, it, it's just a reimbursement for whatever our expenses are, um, you know, within the, the scope of the grant. So you have the money somewhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, I believe that they, the state sent it to you, so uh, hopefully you can get in some <laughs> so and I and I did hear that the how well the program the the program is is uh, attended and whatever there's yeah. there's energy behind it that the people showed up and are doing it and we, we started partnering with GCC before COVID and you know we're, we're almost at the point that we were going to start you know, scoping out what the course would look like uh, when COVID hit but actually you know in the long run. Uh, GCC's transition to an online course platform really, I think, has helped this project um, because it, it was a seamless kind of thing to uh, to make it online so that anybody could access the course. Um, I think there's about 35 students in the course from essentially all across Massachusetts, you know, heavily Western Mass, which is you know what our goal was, and then. Um, we uh, we have a, a, an extensive waiting list, so we're, we're hoping to get another course uh, underway, another session of the same course. Uh, but the other thing, because there's extra money left in the grant, uh, we pitched to VOR, can we expand the scope and, and start preparing some training courses, uh, training materials, you know, whatever it, it makes the most sense, uh, and will fit within the the grant amount uh, to start training some other municipal positions. I'm specifically looking at um, you know, financial positions, a you know, treasurer, collector, uh, assessor's clerk, um, as a, a former town administrator and select board member <laughs> in Buckland. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm keen to make sure that those positions are well trained so that... I kind of like the idea of, uh, of uh, intern in, unpaid interns. <laughs> I, I just like the unpaid part. But um, <laughs> how will we know that people will seek employment, you know, with one of our towns or with with FERCA? We we don't know. I mean, our goal initially was to provide some training for folks that you know, when we have an opening, might be available to step in. Yeah. Because it's always I, I oversee the town accounting program, and it's always a, a struggle to hire someone with municipal accountant training, experience, um, and an interest in traveling to multiple towns. So, you know, our, our goal, piggybacking off the, uh, the state's process of looking at the, the local skills gap, the Lieutenant Governor chaired an effort to look at, you know, what are the skill gaps in, in local government. Uh, so there was identified a lot of areas where training isn't available and it's needed, so rather than wait for somebody else to step up and do it, we thought, well, it's something that would benefit our towns, definitely, so, you know, let's, let's try to do it. And the, you know, the, the accountant course at GCC is just wrapping up now, the first session, and um, I'm hearing great things. So does, it, so does this have the potential to lower the cost of the, I mean, you know, I, I don't, we're, we're actually quite pleased with uh, the person that is assigned to Conway. Um, and, I, I, and I know that, you know, staff speaks very highly of him. Um, but but I, I still, when the, for, for, for eight, whatever, for, for the portion of a day per week that we get, the amount that we pay for that is, is rather extraordinary, if you ask me. Um, Nobody really asked me, but uh, <laughs> but um, but you know, and, and that the, I also know that I believe we took some sort of attempt to hire that position on our own before we participated in this, and we were unsuccessful. Um, and, it, and 
just so you know, my position is always that you know we're on the same team. We provide services for towns if the towns want them. Um, you know, if at any point you want to go in a different direction, you know, I won't be offended. <laughs> no, we and we'll, we we, we'll we I, I know I we you. we looked at we looked at sharing position with the school and everything, mm -hmm. but those are two different as an apple apples and oranges and right. um and that whole sharing position with a school, yeah. you always need an extra person to monitor who, which town is getting which m hours, and it, those just don't work. Right, right. Um, and, and one of the requirements for our services is that we capture all of the expenses in the budget. So, you know, much like a, a municipal enterprise fund, I don't know if you have anything here in Conway, but it's essentially its own business. So all of the indirect costs have to get pulled in to that that budget so and I, I haven't been able to identify another source of revenue yet other than municipal assessments yeah. uh, I pitch it to the state every chance I get that they should be helping us <laughs> with that cost so unfortunately you know that's that's what I have to do is yeah assess the budget I haven't come to Conway we can we can teach them here. The school of Hard Knocks is <laughs> always in session here. Yeah, so, yeah. So this aligns so, well with what Governor Baker and Karen Tweedo are trying to do. Right. So, I'm, you know, they yeah. must be supporting this a lot, I, I, I would expect. Uh, uh, former selectmen. And, yeah, and, but supporting it means paying for it. Yeah. Look. When they're not paying for it, then they're just advocating for something. Well, they, they did... Um, you know, authorize the extension of the grants and the, you know, the expansion of the scope of what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, we, we have a kind of a similar track that we've been talking to GCC about basically building off what you've done here and with the Citizens Academy that Tom put together. Um, we think that that has a lot of potential. Um, the GCC is creating a course in state and local government that they're planning to get underway in the spring semester. You know, we're, we're helping with you know, the discussions about what that might look like and who might teach it. You know, there's a, there's a lot of folks that could teach the local government piece, <laughs> certainly. There's, in um, Franklin there's, County. A, there's a really inadequate, inadequate level of local government literacy just right. the, in, in our area amongst local government. Um, right. and, um, right. Like I, I, the, just going to those FERCOG councilor meetings and hearing how people talk about government that are in government. Is, <laughs> oh my gosh, Lord help us. Um, so you know we, we are, are trying to raise the bar, so to speak. So yeah. you know provide opportunities for folks who might not know what the local government does and give them some training if they want. To. They do. And they get in there. <laughs> and they volunteer. So, do we have to vote on these contracts individually, or can we just vote? Yeah, you're them? voting to authorize the chair to sign the contract on behalf of the town. So, okay. is, is there one total or individual ones? Well, it looks like there's multiple contracts, but can, yeah. we just, can, we, but can I make a motion that we authorize our chair to? Sign all of the first contracts instead of voting on the I, I would second that. Okay, all right, then I make that motion. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Right. So, I mean, this, each of these individual Aye. ones. Right, yes. Do you want to read out what each of them are just for? Um, so that it was the accounting, the professional, okay. Professional Municipal Accounting Services Agreement between Franklin Regional Council of Governments and the Town of Conway was the first. And um, the big... The big that, that was 100000 Although No, no, no. That so that's, that's $30,749 for eight hours a week for a year for the accountant. On average. And I, well, I complain about the price, but we are lucky to have the gentleman working for us. I will say that. So, I appreciate that. Um, 
The next, the next one was the memorandum of agreement for the use of MIP software between Franklin Regional Council of Governments and the town of Conway. And that's accounting software. Right. And that is uh, what it costs, <laughs> which wasn't, wasn't an arm and a leg. Um, the next one is the building, plumbing, and gas, and wiring inspection and zoning enforcement professional services agreement by and between the Franklin Regional Council of Governments and the town of Conway. And that was for $7,600 for a fiscal year for all of that. And then... I think the last one is the memorandum of agreement by and between the, you made me read all these out. Okay, <laughs> by and between the Franklin Regional Council of Governments and the Franklin County Emergency Communication System Oversight Committee and users of the Franklin County Emergency Communication Systems and Commonwealth of Massachusetts interoperable radio system, specifically for the town of Conway as user. And that was $300 per radio. Uh, yes, and then the Memorandum of Understanding for the Community Compact Municipal Training Project by and between the Franklin Regional Council of Governments and the Town of Conway. And that talks about us participating in the $100,000 grant um, thing. And, uh, yeah. Um, I make a motion that we authorize our chair to sign all of these agreements on behalf of the select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Um, do you need the hard copy tonight or? If you want to save the um, postage, I could, I I could wait. Yeah. You could sign it right now, yeah. Or you could sign it yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a we, it's a philosophical we. Yeah. There's a lot. Yes. <laughs> Two copies of some. Yeah. Um. Right. The reason for the two copies is I'll get Linda and maybe my boss to sign, and we'll send you back the yeah. original. Actually, some of these copies. some of these require all of our signatures. So. Yeah. I'll get wrong here. Uh, I don't know who's supposed to share. I'm gonna say it's Bob. <laughs> sure. I got it. <laughs> Last. And the date is 719. We need to sign it here. It's very excellent. Memories of the time on the shoulder, the button, so the board. It's really good television. <laughs> you one more. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep. Could have been buying a house. <laughs> really? It's true. <laughs> it's true. Every little signature page was different. Yeah. Serious about the free intern thing. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> <All right. laughs> it's nice to see you. Actually. Yeah, yeah, really. It is nice. Good person. Yeah. Yep. Human. something specific? Yeah. Um, I'm Kay Spencer. Um, because I hadn't been um, something or other appointed yet or introduced. I'm the Forest and Trails Committee. Oh, wonderful. Oh, so, um, Marilyn Webster was supposed to be on Zoom half an hour ago. Maybe she is. She is. She is. Somebody yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, but I thought I would come down and Listen to the exciting. Actually, so board. this is like the height of boredom. This is like the most boring stuff that we ever do. No, I well, to end year to year. Just in line case line. I ever want to be a select board member. That's it. You're hired. This is like the low. This is the low. Um. All right. Is is uh is it Priscilla? Huh? Um. I think just Marilyn was supposed to. Sh is the only one who's supposed to show up? We we didn't know we were all supposed to be here. I don't think oh, you have no. to. No, no, yeah, you didn't have to be. No, no you don't. No. You didn't have to be. Yeah, um, just but okay. So anyway. so Deb is out of town. Um, you know, Priscilla is yeah, on the committee. She's just not here. Yeah, it's okay. You don't. You, nobody needs to feel bad about it yeah. or anything. It's it's really good. <laughs> it's it's glad that you're. Um, um, that so, so there there are just a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, and I, I guess. Um, nobody really told you this, but com committees really need to be an odd number, composed of an odd number of people. Yeah. So we, we're working on that. Yeah. So okay. We're working on that. Okay. And that's just because our bylaws don't don't have any mechanism for tie votes to be broken. <laughs> so we, if we we just put in a, a request for new members in the Conway mm -hmm. and we're sort of beating bushes. And, and then the other, the other thing is, and I, I know I know we're still I know we're, we're talking about I don't know if I've seen any draft of anything, but sort of the scope of or the definition or whatever of what the committee is, what what, what you have in your remit, um, that sort of a thing. And so that's what when we establish a committee, we say this is what the committee is going to do, and then everybody knows when something falls in with whatever. So that's the other thing that we usually do when we establish a committee, we say. Well, ask Marilyn being the chair. Well, she probably Bill, I thought we'd already presented that. Was there something in writing? I I thought if there was, because you looked, I thought you, when you said, I thought it was going to be all the tra trails in town, that that was in response to our written document. You know, that, sound, that sounds vaguely familiar, but um, vaguely. That was from well, the meeting of the yeah. 21st? Yeah, we, we, I forgot on what day we showed up with that. Um, I can resend it if you like. Yes. Um, yes, please. With, a, so, with, with apologies for not remembering it. Yes, um, and apologies so, for... Who, more than one town administrator. Who should I send that? Right to Vernie. Uh, Vernie. To, to, to Vernie, which is. Okay, so to the town manager. Yeah, administrator. Town, yeah. town admin at townadmin.com. Oh, right. Administrator, right. Uh, okay. Actually, it's just admin for the okay. email, just town admin. Thank you. Okay. All right, I will do that right now.
Is there anything and, and else then you there, So and then there, the so the way we normally do it when you're starting something out, you you set for you set. Uh, expiring terms that stagger so that you don't need to find a whole bunch yeah, of people in one that. year. Um, but yeah. but that, that... We've so, done that. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so then... Um, oh, yes, yeah, so Deborah is 2024, Priscilla 2023, Kay 2022, Marilyn 2024. Mm -hmm. And, to, the, and to be determined will also be to, to be determined. <laughs> there you go. Our fifth person... <laughs> Okay. Um, and then, so where did where did we end up with our discussion of uh, of, tra of trails? We our, ended our, our, up that we're starting with the town-owned properties while we get our feet under us. Okay. And we will see what happens with all the other trails. I noticed with the um, survey that the open spaces sent out. Yeah. Um, that they asked a lot about trails, yes, so I, we're also going to communicate with them and oh, good. see what. Uh, and I'm also trying to check in with parks, recs, and trails. Oh, and good. Just, right now, we're we're trying to make connections with other committees. Yeah, yeah, I'm, that's a lifelong pursuit. <laughs> uh, but it's good. It's good. That's that's really good. Those are great answers. So our mission today is to appoint you officially to this committee. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. here. Um. So I'll make a motion that we appoint Deborah Donaldson, Priscilla Lynch, Kay Spencer, and Marilyn Webster to the Forest and Trails Committee for terms expiring 2024, 2023, 2022, and 2024, respectively. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You brand new committee, you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we are. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. For your Thank, you. Thank you. Um, next, the Forest Legacy Letter of Support. So this was a letter that we got from Beth. Yeah. Who the planning to board? Send this to. I mean, what is it? Uh, I what believe that was the intent was. That was going to go to legislators, wasn't it? Well, well, it, the the template letter that we got said, "Dear Ms. Nystrom." Yeah. So. All right, it's going to Ms. Nystrom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is? I don't know. Somebody that we're sending a letter to. <laughs> ECR Bureau of Forest Fire Control. Forest. There you go. Okay. All right. So I looked at it, I let yeah, it, let My it. only question was whether this is going to have any impact on the other various forest projects we have going on, Well, like carbon capture. I thought about that very briefly, but then I thought, okay, it's a letter of support. We're not committing yep, to anything. Yep. So, um, and we can support that without any impact, I think, so. But. Yeah. I just had issues with the paragraph spacing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great. So I'll make a motion that we that we issue this letter as and I believe as requested by the planning board. I think this yes. yeah. This, yeah. this template came from the planning board, joining the planning board in Conway support. And it would it would in uh, the designate if, if if it's designated um, the, these forest legacy areas that that would help us with the Mohawk Trail Woodland Partnership, yeah. of which we are one of the 15 towns in Western Mass that are part of that, and that has been beneficial to us. I will say that. So, this doesn't cost us anything, and we're advocating for what we want for the town. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there a motion? Do I make a motion? I second. Aye. Aye. All in favor? I unanimous. And retainer contract for Ross Perry. So we had talked about this when we were hiring Ross Perry. <coughs> um, just about sort of 
if, if we were if we were really going to be pleased, we wanted to keep keep him around for a little bit, and um, you know, he's both for his own knowledge and ability, and also for his mentorship um, uh, abilities. And so, I think I think that this, uh, uh, you know, I like the the, the rate was. Um, you know, this, so this sets forth retainer, re, uh, retainer the um, right. So you know, available by phone. yeah. There's on site, off site report, um, and uh, uh, I think it's. Yeah. I think Ross was great. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. So and, and this allows us to sort of pay as you go and pay for just what we're doing and what we need them for and. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and at a at a rate that he's acceptable with, um, okay with, and that I think it's still within our wheelhouse of what we can do. Yeah. And, um, and it's nice to have this as a backstop. It makes you feel better. You can mm -hmm. sleep better at night. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I was so, sleeping fine anyway, but. Yeah. I just feel bad that I missed his going away party, so I'm that, glad that he'll Well, come we can have another going again. away party for him. Or a welcome yeah. back, Ross. There you go. <laughs> Hey, so, do you have this for us to sign tonight? Do you have a copy? So we haven't passed it yet, but when we do. I make a motion that we um, sign this retainer contract for Ross Perry. Second. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. So this leads to all of our signatures. Of, uh, of our new business is the annual reappointments. Um, so this is just your hand crippling many signature. Well, this is a stat. I, I did not realize that we reappoint all the fire department members. <laughs> just, uh, so there's a long list of names to read. I don't do. Uh, I don't know. Louise, did you have that on hand? I don't remember that's not in the last year. It's not. Still have the two lists. Um, they all need to be reappointed, but some do not need to be sworn in. Yeah. Okay. I really would like to go over this listing with Lori tomorrow. You know, just make sure we're sending it to the right people. Okay, there, there were um, some other non-fire department appointments, though. Can we talk about those? Yeah. Um, yeah, there were quite a few. There's like I hundreds. Know, so I think you both lists. Um, and those who do not keep the word and those who do. And Adam Baker and Bob on top of the nut, but they do. Uh, don't hold you on the top of the other list. Okay. I got it. Okay. Well, I think 56 cents per month. Or it's 120 some odd calls hold. We're going to have to. I don't remember doing So were you planning on reading this long list? Well, I mean, now, I, I know, I'm just looking at it, and I know some of them don't want to do that. You know, I know Dana could, d d you know, is not on the Capitol. No, I, and I was told not, that. I does not wish to, and I don't know about Russ France. He's on listed there. He's too. not either. Yeah. On the assessors? No, so the gun on the Capitol food no. committee. So, so the, that appointment. If, if I could interrupt, yeah. I, I think we send them a letter prior asking them if they want to continue on or if they do not, to let us know. 
Well, and you sent me a letter, and I told, and in my in the email, I replied to you that they did. Right. We're both new with this process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get that from one of No, I don't have that. <laughs> it just went to Phil. And these will just need just your signature. Um. That Erica and Bob, I can send you these lists if you'd like to get them. That's okay. I mean, can no. we just make a motion that so you don't Phil, as chair, is authorized to? I, I don't really know what the what the format was to accomplish this. Because I I don't remember doing this last year at all. We're getting training. <laughs> Well, we talked briefly just amongst ourselves about the things that the, you know, um, the FERCOG uh, Council of Government, and then there's the FERCOG uh, Economic Development and Regional the, Planning, the Regional Planning, and the FCAT. Um, This does actually say select board chair annual reappointments. Right. right. The chair signs the appointment yeah, form. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right. So, when, I, so if, after Lori, after these are clarified, then I'll, I can just do this on our own. Reading. I just want to give Lori and Louise yeah. so much credit because they have spent so much time trying to clean up these lists and yeah. get everything together. And it was yeah. going through committee by committee to see when people's yes. terms ended and yeah, because there is a, there's been a problem where people are just certain, not sure whether they're still on or not and that, that and yes. we're the ones that are supposed to be keeping score of all that. So they're doing an amazing job getting that together. Yep. So why don't you make your motion again? Um, I, I move that um, we authorize our select board chair to make these annual appointments. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Very good. Town administrator update. I actually have a couple that at the meeting um, on the 28th, um, because it was so short, we didn't get to Ross's. So there were two that he had put on there. Um, one was that <clears throat> we went with a new um, company for injured on duty coverage, VFIS. I think you may already know this, but I just wanted to state it for the record that um, with National Union Fire Insurance Company of Pittsburgh, PA, they have the same or slightly better coverage than our previous carrier, plus no age limits on their policy which is important considering Conway has members of the fire and police departments over the age of 70. So, um, and by the way, it was sort of unanimous between three different town administrators because Tom had set this in motion and then Ross and I reviewed it, not realizing that it was already in motion, we came to the same conclusion, so. <laughs> oh. um, and then he mentioned uh, that a group of residents and employees surveyed the landscaping in front and along the side of the town office and agreed that the bushes were so overgrown that a complete removal was appropriate. In case you haven't noticed, all new shrubs and flowers are in place. Many thanks to Ron Sweet for arranging this work. Um, and the town office building looks much better. It really does. Thank yes. you. Yes. So that was... I'm really taking that road to Denver now. <laughs> <laughs> so those were from Ross from the 28th, which we didn't get to. And then for myself, um, just to let you know, I've been setting up meetings with all the different department heads and committee chairs and board chairs to, you know, introduce myself. And I sort of have a list of questions I'm asking everybody just so I can I can get a feel for what they need from me. Um, I'm planning a professional development day on September 24th, all town for um, in here from 9 to 11 uh, on the topic of cyber security with Roy. Yeah. And the funny thing is. Just today, I was talking with him about that, and then just today, we got the whole list of the trainings that are going on through the FERCOC on cybersecurity. <laughs> so it'll kind of dovetail nicely. Mm -hmm. I'll be attending some of the ones that the FERCOC puts on, but. So it looked like this, what they called session one, or the first mm -hmm. session, two parts, mm -hmm. uh, on a Tuesday or a Monday, and then the next Thursday, looked appropriate for the selectmen. Mm -hmm. if, if, if we were gonna think okay. about which ones we wanna do. The other ones, maybe not. But there was some there that could be good. Yeah. And actually, two through five, I was interested in. So. Uh, you, you might want to see all of them, absolutely. 
So, um, and um, we, we did obviously discuss the mosquito opt-out program. I just want to let you know that the Board of Health is working with the, the FERCOG is, is involved in this as well, putting together educational materials, which then the Board of Health can make use of, and we'll put something in the Conway Currents and got, start getting the education part of this program going. Um, so I, how are we going to get that word out? Because I think if there were a lot of people in town that cared, people came to our select board meetings, mm -hmm. you know, if we could have that on the website or all of the Absolutely. various ways, you know, it, it's really something to celebrate. That the, your effort on the Board of Health and Ross. Oh, you mean for getting the opt-out? For that's what oh. you meant, right? Well, I was talking about the education materials on that, but yes. Well, for achieving the opt-out, and then yes, it's great that Furcock is going to help with the materials, which was a piece of what we have to do. But I think there was a lot of interest in town of people who did not want Conway to be sprayed. Yes. So that's great news. Yes, and that was very much a joint effort with Ross and I to yes. put that yes. together. Um, yeah, so we can certainly put that in the Conway Currents too, which I is probably the best way to get that out there. Be great. So, yeah, yeah. Then um, on the recycling front, um, I'm sure you're aware that we started paying a base rate of 93.50 a ton for our recycling, which is then offset by whatever revenues come in. And the revenues have been steadily increasing, which is nice. So our net payment has been going down and down and down. Um, the Board of Health had $20,000 in FY20 in their budget to try to cover this, didn't need it all. They have $15,000 in their budget for, sorry, 21 and for 22 they have $15,000. And we actually just got our first revenue check. Uh -huh. So in other words, the net revenue um, is more than the 9350, which is really exciting. Yes. So the revenue check comes from paper and metal? Is that Actually, it's mostly driven by plastics. Believe it or not. That go into recycle. Interesting. Yes. And the Springfield MRF, I mean, I happen to know this since I was recently <laughs> on the advisory board. Yeah. They just had new equipment put in, optical sorters, that cer sort certain kinds of plastic that have incredibly high value. Some of them $1,000 a ton. It's gone. It's just gone. It's Ooh, kind of that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, and, and cardboard is still, OCC is still yeah. pushing the, the envelope for that for us, mm -hmm. increasing it. but. Very exciting news. What, because we're recycling too much cardboard? Well, it's kind of like the Amazon effect. So they need, um, and, you know, they need us to recycle the cardboard so they can keep sending it back to us in Amazon yeah. and chewing boxes and whatever else that we're yeah. buying. So, yeah. But we can, comp we can compost cardboard too, right? You can, but it's really <laughs> worth a lot more to recycle it, honestly. <laughs> so that was, and then um, the last thing was just that um, Roy is working um, on a resident feedback form that I want to put up on the town administrator page. Eventually it'll be populated with the different subjects, the different projects that are going on so that people could click on something and then give direct feedback on that project. So hopefully that will be up soon. And that was it for me. Select board member comments or concerns. Erica? I'm good. Okay, I'll just say that uh, I did get a comment from someone that wondered when the select board meeting was because the calendar on the website had some of them but not all of them. Mm. And the select board page was old on the website. Didn't you ask me to be on the website committee? I, I have not, yeah, we have not <laughs> set that up yet, but yes, we definitely want to. I have, I have no comments. Okay. Mail. <coughs> we got one letter. I'm trying. So there, there you know, I, I think we've, re we've received multiple, um, I've received multiple correspondence about the removal of the trees on the Waitley Road. And, um, and the, the, uh, Ron did say in a public meeting that this is because when you let the sunlight in, it melts the snow and ice in the winter, and your the, your road, the length of your life expectancy of the road improves dramatically. Was his exact words. So um, that's why we do that. And uh, but then a complaint about some trees that aren't being removed. They yeah. Be. Yeah. And then we did also receive. Uh, an item of correspondence asking 
about what happened to the milkweed that was in front of the town hall or the town office in the garden and mm. uh, <coughs> the, the, the reminding us that the town voted to do bee pollen every and the, the native plantings and et cetera, et cetera. And um, the, feeling that we, the feeling was that we came up a little short on those ideals. But I did have a well-known um, uh, landscape designer in the area walked through the new plan and, and she identified multiple locations where milkweed is growing st still in that little garden and it's popping, they're all popping up. There's lots of little baby milkweeds for all you milkweed fans out there. And they're all, the milkweed will still be a part of the town office property. I now have milkweed growing in some of my fields and I'd be happy to provide milkweed pots. I have plenty of milkweed in my yard. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's growing well. So, um, any announcements? Not really. Next meeting is well, Monday, see. August 2nd. Um, so, I will be in Maine. I will be in Alaska. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> I will definitely really? not be available. Um, any idea when you'll be back? Could we? I will be back. Um, it, it, it's like weather dependent. If it's rainy, I'm back sooner. Uh -huh. If it's not rainy, I'm there till Thursday or Friday. Um, but uh, I, I could be available by I could on the ninth, the following week. I could be available by Zoom. Um, the second, I definitely cannot be available. I know. Um, well, we survived postponing last week's meeting. I wonder if we will do yeah, that again. That's, yeah, can we? The ninth? Or if we just put, some, you know, skip the, the August 2nd meeting. Yeah, the do, we, do we have pressing issues between now and then? Not at the, well, not at the moment, but that doesn't mean that we won't. Can um, we, I mean, you want to go a whole month then without a meeting? I, I mean, I No, can, no, I, that'd I, be three weeks. I could do the ninth, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, but I, I would I would have to be remote. I mean, I couldn't, but I I could. You'll be back with the, by the ninth. Yeah, I will. Okay, that'd be work. That's okay with me. So that's three weeks from today. Okay. So that's two. So, so which would which will be two meetings in the span of six weeks, which is an all time. That's well. That's vaca it's a vacation schedule. It's a proper vacation yeah. schedule. Yeah. So, all right. That's two o'clock in the afternoon for me. I just have to. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're doing Alaska calculations. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, but that's fine. I, I'll just... Okay, August 9th. August 9th. All right, next meeting will be 6 p.m. Monday, August 9th, uh, in this room. Unless it's really hot and we decide to have it in the air conditioning next door. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Second. So moved. So, uh, yes, all in favor, aye. Aye. Good night, everybody. Thank you.